All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us bright and early on a Wednesday morning um, to learn a little bit about College Invest. My name is Brett Reyes. Um, I am the Development Director here at the IEC. Um, we have Kaylin Hemlock and Elijah Rawls with us today from College Invest to talk about uh, and give us the basics for 529 plans and how you can help your employees um, save for educational expenses, such as apprenticeship and college and things like that. Please, um, if you have any questions throughout the presentation, use the chat function and we'll get to them at the end. Um, and I'll pass it over to Kaylin and Elijah. All right, so let me go ahead and get this going here. Share my screen. All right, can you guys see that? Yes, okay, perfect. All right, well, thanks Thanks for having me. Um, again, my name is Caitlin Hemlock and I'm with College Invest. Um, we offer the state's 529 college savings plan. Um, I've been with College Invest for a little over, gosh, my anniversary was just a couple of days ago and um, I've been with College Invest for over 25 years. Um, I'm with the employer team. I've been doing this for probably about 10 years. Um, so I, I think I know what I'm doing, hopefully. Um, we offer the state's 529 college savings plan. College Invest is actually the administrators of the 529 plans. We are not a not-for-profit state agency, so I'm a state employee. I'm not here to sell anything. This is really just to educate you guys about what is a 529 and how we can help your employees. Um, we do not collect any taxpayer dollars, commission, or bonuses. Um, we have about $10 billion under management and 380,000 accounts. Um, I love saying that. I feel like it's a, it's a, such a great big number. Um, if you look at other states, almost every state has a 529 college savings plan. And you can look at the other states' plans. Um, our plan always does really well with the ratings and things like that. We have a lot of accounts. Um, it's, there's a website out there. It's called savingforcollege.com. Um, they actually rate every state's 529 college savings plan. So you can go out there and take a look. Our plan always receives a very high rating. And that is based on the usefulness and the benefits that we offer the residents here in the state of Colorado. Um, we have a dedicated team of experts that help support HR. Um, so there's a couple of us that go out and, um, you know, this is what we do um, to help educate the residents here in the state of Colorado. So again, our role is to partner with businesses um, to help them offer College Invest to their employees as a benefit package. Um, so that is kind of what we do. Um, you know, this is more of a voluntary type of a benefit. Um, there's no cost to you. And we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that. But I do want to talk about, you know, um, what is a 529 and all that good stuff. Um, we partner with about 900 companies here in the state of Colorado right now. Um, here's just a few of them just to give you guys an idea of who we partner with. Um, but uh, this is what we do. We go out, we we do lunch and learns, and we talk to companies, um, or the, their employees at, at the businesses. Um, so today we are going to go over um, financial wellness at the workplace, um, how 529s can help, and then partnering with us. Um, so doing research over, you know, the last 10 to 15 years, um, you know, it, it's been consistent. Um, when we first started doing the outreach program, we were at, you know, Boo at the Zoo, PTOs, back to school night, um, things like that, where parents were. Well, that really was not where we should have been. Um, when we did more research uh, and, and figuring out um, where we can talk to employees and where we can really get them to listen to what we did was at the, the place of business. Um, they have better mindset, they're more focused. Um, businesses are at offering financial wellness programs, benefit programs, and that is where we need it to be. So this is why we do what we do here with um, companies. Um, through research, we did find that 86% of financial um, employees are financially stressed. Um, 
it helps to helps the employer to provide financial wellness programs again because they want to hear this information there at the workplace um, and it helps them to be able to save there right so it it's it's helping your employee as well um, why this matters um, here's a few things that um, I think is great to kind of just take a look at by 2000. 2020, 65% of all jobs required some type of education. Um, and then, you know, student loans. Um, if you guys take a look at this, um, students are burdened, but with debt, um, average federal student loan is $36,000. Um, student loans are really hard to pay back because Usually students are on a 10 year repayment plan. Again, this is why we think it's important um, for parents to start listening to how they can start to save for education expenses. And then children with a college um, savings account are seven times more likely to, to actually attend college. All right, so how can a 529 help? Um, just to give you guys, you know, some background about what is a 529. 529s were created by the federal government under the IRS code 529. We started the 529s back in 97. Um, they're savings accounts. You are the account owner. Well, anyone can be the account account owner. And this is what I love about them is you can be the parent, the grandparent, the aunt, the uncle, um, saving for yourself if you want to go back to school. So anyone can open a 529 plan. So when we're talking to HR or someone who owns a business, there's almost someone there that can actually open a 529 plan, right? Um, even I get a lot of, well, I don't have kids yet. Can I save for an unborn child? Yes, you can. So there, there's always someone that can open a 529. And then contributions are invested by professional investment teams. So with College Invest, we have four different savings plans. Each one of them have their own professional investment team managing the funds for us. So we don't do that at College Invest. We have someone doing that for us. Um, I talk about who they are. We go through that when we're going through the presentation. Um, it, and they, you know, they do a very good job at managing the funds for us. Each plan is very different. Um, but again, we have those, those account managers managing the, the plans for us. All right, some of the big benefits that go along with a 529, um, and I don't know if you guys know this, if, if you're familiar with this, but this is always a great um, eye catcher, I guess, is the Colorado tax benefit. Anything that you contribute to your account, you can deduct off of your state taxes at the end of the year. So this is a great benefit back to the employee. You contribute to your 529 account, you're saving for your, ch your child or whoever, and you're getting a state tax benefit at the end of the year. All right, that is a dollar for dollar state tax deduction. And I'll show you guys a little bit um, of how that looks in, in the next couple of slides here. Um, and then we have a federal tax benefit. So your earnings grow tax free. So you do not pay taxes on the earnings as long as that money is used for qualified expenses. All right. So the money is supposed to be used for qualified expenses. Um, one thing I do want to mention is I get a lot of questions. Is what if the student doesn't go to school? You know, um, what happens to that money? The money is theirs, yours. Um, it, we don't keep it. You can pull the money out. Um, there is go going to be a penalty on that um, interest, all right? So only the interest, it's 10%. Um, but again, you know, you do get your principal back. So to give you an idea of how that Colorado tax benefit looks is over here on this college invest savings side. The it reduces your AGI, which is your adjusted gross income. So if you contributed, you know, $5,000 for the year, I can't really see that slide all the way. Um, it uh, reduces your AGI. All right. So um, you contribute a dollar amount and it reduces your AGI by that dollar amount. And that is how you get that Colorado state tax deduction. So it's a great benefit. I love it. Um, I have two kids. They're older. I still have a college invest account. That's what I love about them is 
There is no age limit. You can continue to contribute into a 529. Um, my daughter is um, 30 and she is done with school, but I still contribute because I get that state tax deduction, which I just think is great. All right, so here to give you guys an idea of the how the federal works is, let's see here, I'm gonna just move this out of the way, is, um, for example, you know, it the way the federal works is your earnings grow tax free, right? So if you were to put in a two hundred dollars a month for eighteen years into a taxable account, um, your savings is sixty five thousand. Um, now versus a tax advantage account, and you put that same two hundred dollars in um, for eighteen years, you're getting eighty thousand dollars. That's a fourteen thousand dollar difference. Um, so again, you know, just saving in a regular old savings account. Um, you're you're still having to pay taxes on those earnings. Um, you're not getting the interest rate that you would like a 529. Um, so again, just to give you guys an idea of how that works with the federal tax. Qualified expenses are anything that the school requires the student to have. So tuition, room, board, books, fees, um, apprenticeships are qualified now. Um, so you can put money into your 529 and pay for those expenses. Um, so again, anything that the school is requiring the student to have, you can pull money from your 529 and pay for those expenses and it be considered qualified. All right. Um, there are non-qualified expenses. Um, for a few things that I know that are school related are travel expenses, student loans, and K through 12. Um, you can pull money from your 529 and pay for those, but it would be considered a non-qualified expense, all right? Um, and you would have to take that 10% penalty and then pay the taxes on the earnings. Um, but those are a few things that I know that are non-qualified. All right, in 2021, the governor's office determined that apprenticeship programs are qualified. So just like what I just said, again, you can put money into a 529 and pay for those expenses. So, um, you know, if you guys have students that want to put money into a 529, and the nice thing is, is that they can continue even after the program, right? So even if they put money into a 529 and they have to go back for, you know, taking a, you know, a certification or something like that, they can still pull that money and pay for those expenses. So again, you can put money into a 529 and pay for the uh, apprenticeship program. <clears throat> Some of the key benefits that go along with the 529 is the beneficiary is flexible. You can change up the beneficiary at any time. So when we're talking of the apprenticeship, the um, when they open the account up, it would actually be in their name as the account owner and them as the student. But let's say they have money left over and now they have kids of their own or, you know, whatever it is, they can always transfer that. Um, and then that student can go ahead and use the money. So the money can be transferred to anyone within the bloodline. So brother, sister, niece, nephew, aunt, uncle, <clears throat> um, so they have some options there. And then owner control. So them being the account owner have full control of the account. Um, they have control of the investments, um, all of that. And then money is accessible, uh, accessible, sorry, accessible at any time. Um, so they can pull the money out whenever they want. It's very easy. It takes about 10 or seven to 10 days to get the money out the money can go directly to the school or it can come back to themselves for reimbursement. All right. Um, nationwide, the money can be used anywhere throughout the United States. Um, it can, you know, be used even some places out of the states. Um, we There's a website out there. It's the FAFSA website. They can go to and take a look at all the schools that qualify. Um, and then $500,000 per beneficiary is the contribution limit. So your account cannot exceed that dollar amount. All right. And then, like I said earlier, we have four different savings plans. We have the direct portfolio plan that is managed by Vanguard. They have 11 investment options for you to choose from. They range from um, very conservative to more aggressive. 
Um, and then we have the stable value plus option. This option here is managed by nationwide. This is a more guaranteed option. Um, you're earning about a 1.79% for the year. That is reset every December 1st. So it can go higher, it can go lower, but it never goes lower than the um, than the, a floor. So they kind of set a floor, it's 1.5%. Um, so you do have, that's why they, you know, guarantee this option. So you do have that floor, it will never go lower than that. <clears throat> and then we have the smart choice. This option here is through First Bank. Anyone can actually open up a First Bank just by, or First Bank account just by walking into a First Bank and filling out some information. All the others are on the website. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. And then we have our scholar's choice option. This option here is only through a financial advisor. So you do have to be working with a financial professional in order to open up a scholar's choice plan. Now, I know going through these, you know, it's very fast. Um, when we're actually doing a presentation to your employees, we go through each plan. We talk about the different um, portfolio options that that are available to them. Um, so a little bit more in detail than just looking at these four different plans. So here are a few, um, why don't more families save with a 529? Families think their child will earn a scholarship um, and the majority of them probably will not earn a scholarship. Um, a saving might impact financial aid. So a lot of people think that by saving with um, a 529 account, it will impact the financial aid. Um, you do have to remember that financial aid is based on income. Um, they can't afford to save. Well, with the 529 plans, there are minimums. They're very low. There's um, one of the plans is $25 a month. The other one is $15 a month. Um, so we do like to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to, you know, make a contribution to their account. There's no payment schedules. They can actually do that whenever they want to. And then just lack of awareness of the 529 accounts um, and how they actually work. Or they just don't know how to get started. Um, and again, everything is on our website. Um, so it really is pretty easy to actually open the account. And now, why don't employers um, use this as a benefit? Um, a lot of employers just don't think they have the bandwidth. Um, it's a new benefit, not sure how to offer it. Um, there's actually no cost to the company um, and very low administration. I was actually just having a meeting with a lady the other day and she was really worried about, well, you know, what do I need to do? And it's really not much. It's we're, we're all we're asking is that um, you find time for us to come in and educate your employees. We're not selling anything. I mentioned this earlier. I'm not selling your employees anything. I'm not selling you anything. Um, it's really just to educate your employees about what is a 529, how they work, um, how they open one. Um, if you have out of state employees, you know, we get a lot of, well, this is not fair. You know, um, we can't offer it because we have out of state employees. And actually, um, anyone can open a 529. You do not have to be a resident here in the state of Colorado. So you can open our 529 plan. You can open up a, another state's 529 plan. Um, and we do like to mention that um, as we're going through the um, presentation. All right. Um, not enough interest. So again, like I said earlier, you know, if you have a grandparent, um, if you have older employees, there's always someone there that would be interested. If if someone's planning a family, um, you know, this is something that they can do as well. So how do you partner with us? Very easy. Um, you know, the first thing would be to reach out. Um, we can talk about lunch and learns. We are doing in person, we're doing webinars, um, whatever works for your employees. I always tell the HR person or whoever I'm working with, this is my job. I, I will do whatever you guys need me to do. Um, if it's a morning one, if it's an afternoon one, you know, you let me know and we can actually figure out how to do this. Um, if it's both, we can do that as well. 
we have information to provide you guys um, with um, new hire information, material to leave behind, um, all of that good stuff. You can offer direct deposit. Um, it can come right out of a paycheck. That would be the payroll direct deposit. Um, the, this is after tax dollars though, right? So this is not a pre-tax benefit. Um, so it's very simple. Again, there's hardly any um, administration. You just collect a form from the employee and then you can go ahead and pull that dollar amount out of their paycheck and it can go right to their 529 account. So it's very simple. Um, there is a, a program that we have. It's an employer contribution. If you're interested as a company, you can go ahead and match um, your employee's contribution and get a 20% tax credit. And we can talk about how that works if you're interested. Um, I have a lot of, we have a lot of companies that are doing this um, for their employees. If it's like, you know, new hire, if it's, you know, you contribute a certain dollar amount to your 529, we'll match that dollar for dollar. Um, so there are a lot of different ways that you can do that. Um, but that is an option. That's not something that is required. And then we do offer this, this other great benefit. I, I love this. It is for um, anyone who is having, who has had a newborn baby after January 1 of 2020 is our first step program. So if they have had a newborn baby, they can, they open up a 529 account and they fill out the first step program um, application and they will receive $100 from College Invest. That's great. They get $100. Then it also automatically enrolls them into our matching grant program. This program here um, is a program where you put in a certain dollar amount and we will match that dollar amount. I'm sorry, on the screen it says 1,000 and they just changed that to 500. So you contribute $500 into your account and College Invest will match that $500. So if you have a lot of um, employees that are, are young and are starting off with newborns, this is a great program, program for them, right? So um, the Matching Grant Program is a program that um, starts October 1st and it runs through the end of December. So there is a um, little bit of a time period there. All right, and just some resources. So if you were to partner with us, you would receive you know, some material from us, like I talked about earlier, and this is just a, a quick screen and a screenshot of the different things that we offer, how to enroll, payroll direct deposit, um, new hires, um, you know, things like that. And then if you were interested in setting something up, everything is on our website, how to schedule, if you want more information of how we can actually get started, um, we're doing just like quick 10, 15 minute Zoom calls with the HR person and how we can come in and get this benefit started at your company. I'm just going to skip over this. This is just kind of um, our partners and going through some different um, testimonials that we have with companies that we work with. If you're on LinkedIn, um, follow us on LinkedIn. You know, we do a lot of um posts and things like that about what's happening, updates and things like that. Um, so we are out there on LinkedIn. Um, and then if you guys are interested, you can scan this. Um, if you want to set something up with me, if you have more questions, um, you know, we can go ahead and talk about that. Um, you know, feel free to reach out. We do benefit fairs. I'm kind of doing a lot of benefit fairs right now, um, just because that's the season. Um, but yes, you know, let me know if you have any questions, um, reach out to me and I can definitely help you. And thank you guys for listening to me this morning. Thank you so much, Kaylin. Does anyone have any questions for, for her about College Invest? Marilyn put a good um, note in the chat about saving from an early age for kids. Oh, good. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I love that. Good morning, Kaylin. David Scott here with uh, Encore Electric. I hi. wasn't uh, curious. Hi, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a uh, savings account. I did the same thing for um, uh, my daughter. 
um, and uh, that uh, that Marilyn did for her son. Anyway, okay. and it, I can attest it does work out. I love the fact that you guys have expanded it to uh, um, apprenticeship programs, and um, you know, expanding the message. It, 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 you know, branding and words matter. If you could continue to push that, you know, it's about post-secondary education. It's not yeah. just about college for all. Yes, um, exactly. I that. Yep. Yes. And I, I know you get that. Yep. So yeah. um, my question is, I, I, I'm curious as to the range of fees on the various, uh, various investment options. You know, it's, it's um, are these things uh, fee heavy, fee light, or somewhere in the main, middle? You know, somewhere in the middle, I, I would say, um, well, the first plan that I was that we have is our direct portfolio plan. Right. And that's kind of our most popular option, um, you know, and I think it's because of the different all the different investment options that we have. With that option there and that fee there is point three percent. Is that right, Elijah? Mm -hmm. OK, I I've, I know it's changed a couple of times, but um. So that there comes off of the top. Um, okay. So, and then the other plan that we have is the stable value plus option. That's that guaranteed option. That mm -hmm. 1.79% is actually what they get there. The fee has already come off of that. So sure. if you were to open a five, a stable value plus account today, the more, the more uh, conservative option, you automatically get that because that fee has already come off. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Right on. Um, and they, I'm curious. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the reasons why why we used uh, my daughter's plan is is that uh, um, I would could save dollars in the, you know the tax savings is is huge. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I could save dollars at the time and you know uh, put dollars in and then uh, save the taxes and then you know pay the university directly. Right. Um, you know the the match that uh, that the or not the so let's talk about the employer match. The employer could save twenty percent. Yes, is that correct? Yes. But then they would they would need to set up individual accounts. That's right. Okay. So the way that works is, um, if the employer was interested, um, there's a portal. So it, it's completely different than what we were talking about today. Um, the the employer would actually need to set up each individual person in this portal. Now the employee mm -hmm. has to have a 529 account already, um, but then okay. the employer goes in and they set that up in the portal. Um, they make a contribution and then it, it's kind of kept track in this portal of everything that you've contributed. Um, and then you get something at the end of the year showing how much you contributed, things like that. And honestly, I'm just going over this really quick, but if that's something you are interested in, we can actually have um, more of a conversation. I can walk you through the portal, how to set that up, um, how to set your employees up, um, all of that good stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that. That's, uh, it's just, it's, uh, you, you, you piqued my interest there. So okay. um, I've given you my, I've given you my email address in the chat. Um, okay. And I've got the question as, as well, so. Yeah, um, I would love to do that. We can go ahead and um, set something up and I can give you more information, um, you know, how to do that. It's it's pretty easy, but it, it is a little bit more detailed. So we would, you know, need to walk that, walk you through that. Um, once you do it, you're like, oh, this is pretty, pretty simple. So. Right. On. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Any, hey, any Kaylin, Kaylin, Annette, I think you yeah. talked to Annette with the IEC before. She put um, a question, oh. know, that's a question in the chat, but I think you mentioned at the beginning, we were interested in sharing this with our student body, but you mm -hmm. had said that that may not be the best option. Can you chat about that for a minute, just so Annette can um, have that information too? Yeah, this, um, this presentation was really designed more towards, you know, the um, CEOs, the HR, you know, um, oh, it's it's not it wasn't designed for the end user. Um, we have another presentation for that that actually goes into a little bit more detail. Um, and and we also created one when we were going to do something with a company and have them have their students actually set up an account that might be um, 
more what we use for this, what Annette is asking for, uh, because then the student can go in and really just take a look um, at, you know, this one option. So when we were gonna, going to do this for the um, students, we were only going to offer the stable value plus option to them. And the reason is just because it's simple. Um, it's a guaranteed option. They're actually probably using it now. So they don't want to lose money, but they get that state tax deduction. So the presentation is more focused on stable value. And I can provide that if you guys think that would be helpful. Awesome. Yeah. And that would really appreciate that you guys um, can connect after. Yeah. That. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And what about, um, I think I heard you say uh, the the funds can be used for any educational purposes, including apprenticeship. Um, yes. What about continued education to keep up licensure after apprenticeship? Um, yes. Be used for that too? Great. Yep, they can be used for that as well. Yes. And, you know, um, I'm not sure if this, I can't remember. It's I just kind of go through all of this, but in everyone, you know, um, there's no, they can use it at vocational schools, technical schools, community colleges, right? So all of that. Um, it's not just for hot, like community college and four-year universities. They can use it at any school that accepts federal funding, which are student loans. Great. Thank you. Awesome. And Marilyn is just commenting. Um, she thinks getting some more information about um, setting up accounts would be super helpful. So we'll make sure to connect okay. with you after that. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Any and other questions? And I'm also available to, you know, if we need to um, do a presentation, I'm more than happy to actually do the presentation to your, to your students um, and go over that presentation with them. Um, we can do that as well. If you'd like something in person, I can, I'm more than happy to set that up with you. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great. I think that is the remainder of our questions. If there's anything that comes up after, just let us know and we'll be sure to connect you. I see that Kaylin's contact information is there as well. Yeah. Um, thank you so much again. We really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. And thanks for everybody um, joining us. I did want to remind um, people on the call just about a couple of NCIEC has coming up. Um, we have a happy hour tomorrow at 4 p.m. We would love you to come if you are available. We also have our State of the Industry dinner coming up. Um, we're looking for sponsors for that, as well as early attendance. We'll get those um, tickets available on Flashpoint soon. And then IEC's National Annual, Con or IEC National Annual Convention Spark is coming up. Um, and look for information for that on our website. And then late uh, registration is open for students. Um, and is filling up quickly. So get those students registered. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great Wednesday. Appreciate you joining us.